Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's understand the relation using datum graph in Creo parametric. So let's get started. So datum graph is also one of the great way to add a relation in Creo parametric. So in my previous video, we added relation using if and else statement. So I was having a complex requirement and my requirement was when this diameter is up to 10, the length should be double of the diameter. If this diameter is greater than 10 and up to 20, this should be three times the diameter. If this diameter is more than 20 and up to 30, this should be four times of this. If this is more than 30, then this should be five times of this. So this kind of complex requirement we had and we successfully achieved using if an else statement. Now the same result we will try to achieve using datum graph. So once you complete this video, you will get the concept of datum graph to achieve different type of desired result. So if you see this part here I have already done. So this is my datum graph. Now if this dimension is up to 10, this will be double of that. If you make it more than 10, let's say 11, then this will become three times of this. So if it is up to 20, this dimension will be three times. If this is more than 20, let's say 21, then this will become four times. So up to 30, the length will be four times. And once this becomes 31, the length will become 5 times. So if it is 50, this is 250, that means it is 5 times. If it is 5, the length will be double of that. So here I have already done that and the same thing, once again I will repeat from the beginning. Along with this, I have one more datum graph in this part. Here the relation is somewhat different. So if this dimension is up to 10, this will be 20. So even if this dimension is 5, this length will be 20. So from 1 to 10, if the die is from 1 to 10, this length will be 20. If this die is more than 10 and up to 20, let's say it is 11, the length will be 30. So even though the die is 20, the length will be 30. Once it becomes 21, this will become 40 and this will stay till the die is 30. Once this becomes more than 30, then this will become 50. So even if this die is 50, that will be 50. So these are the two different type of result we are getting using datum graph. So the procedure is almost same. The only difference is the datum graph. So we have only minor difference within the datum graph. So let's go with the first requirement where if the dimension is up to 10, the length should be double. If the dimension is more than 10 and up to 20, the length should be triple. If the dimension is more than 20 and up to 30, the length will be four times. If the dimension is more than 30, then the length will be five times. And for that, first I'll create a new file. And here I will create a cylinder onto the top datum plane. I'll draw a circle. This diameter I will consider 10. I'll say OK. OK. So this is the part without any relation. Now I'll create a datum graph where I will draw the graph as per my desired result. And for that, I'll go to datum, 
डेटम ग्राफ आई टेक डेटम ग्राफ नेम एज ग्राफ वन इंटर ना हियर टू क्रिएट द ग्राफ फर्स्ट यू प्लेस अ स्केच कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो दिस इज द थम रूल वंस यू प्लेस इट जस्ट प्लेस टू सेंटर लाइन एज अ रेफरेंस सो दिस विल डिसाइड द जीरो जीरो Now once this is done, I'll draw one line starting from zero, just like this. I'll add two dimensions here: one dimension this side, and another dimension this side. Now this dimension, this will be ten, and this will be twenty. So this is like. when the diameter is up to 10 the height will be 20 and if this line is inclined it is gradually increasing so when this dimension is 5 this will become 10 when this dimension is 1 this will become 2 now to watch the full video join the channel and become member of the channel and support the channel thank you